a lot of menus in Indonesia, you'll see duck. And in Bali, it's very famous for the babet gorang. And there they serve it with sambal mata and sambal bajak. So today, I'm gonna see if I can catch one of these little suckers and then serve it up to you guys. <laughs> Caught one of these little guys finally. So hopefully, I can cook you a fantastic Balinese babet gorang. This dish is very different to a lot of other babet gorangs because it doesn't have kunyit in it and also it doesn't have shallots. So we have this bumbu here and this is a very typical Balinese bumbu but slightly different from all the ones we've done before. It's similar to an opor but omitting shallots. First thing we have to do with this dish is marinate it. And if you don't want to use breast because you might find it a bit dry, then you can use leg, it's a good option as well. So I'm going to turn on my gas and check if, what the heat's like. So I'm going to bruise my lemongrass, give it a bash. So I'm just going to add my duck into here and I'm just going to move it around so the paste doesn't burn so much. And then I'm going to add in the rest of the paste that I have here and we start stir frying that paste. Then I'm going to add in a little bit of salam leaf, a little bit of lime leaf in here. Okay, so I think this is brown just perfectly. That's what we're looking for. So I'm just going to add in some water and then we're going to allow it to simmer for about an hour until it's nice and soft. In the meantime, while that's cooking, what I'm going to do and prepare is a simple lawada that goes really well with a salad. So first of all, I'm going to take some bumbu gade. So I'm going to put a little bit of this in. Then I'm going to add in some chilies that I've chopped up and cooked in a little bit of oil. Then I'm going to add in some fried shallots, a bit of fried garlic in there. And then I'm going to add a little bit of dried shrimp paste in there. Then what I'm going to do is add in some coconut. Now I've got some green beans or um, kacang panjang, which are long beans, and you can chop those up. Add that in as well. I'm going to mix that in. And then also I've used some young jackfruit that I've boiled up and I've basically cooked it half cooked and then I'm going to add that in and chop it up so it's all diced. Then I'm going to add in a little bit of lemon. Mm, it's already tasting good. Season it with a bit of salt. Okay, and then leave that to one side. I've cooked the duck and it's perfectly cooked. The water has reduced down, it's tender, and it's almost confit in that oil from the duck and from the actual oil um, that we've been frying it out in. So I've put the oil up to a fairly reasonable heat, but not too hot because I don't want to burn it straight away and it's a slow cook. So we just pop that into here and let that slowly simmer. The idea is to create this and make this nice and golden brown. So be careful and make sure you turn it over on a regular basis. So the duck is nearly ready. You can see this beautiful crispiness on it. Look at that. I mean, who wouldn't want to eat that? That is just fantastic. Just going to place the duck just on here. Be perfect too. Put my lawar on here. And then I'm going to place a little bit of sambal. This is sambal bajak, which is basically onions or shallots, garlic, shrimp paste, small chili, big chili, and it's all cooked down and then pounded to a fine paste like this. And I'm going to top it with a little bit of sambal matter. And put some lovely lemon basil, fried shallot on at the end. And here's my crispy duck, mangi style.